And welcome back on this episode of Rad BMX Builds. It's going to be a continuation of the Zoos build. On the last episode of the Zoos build, I showed you that I gave it to a buddy of mine. We put it together, went for a ride on the beach, and we kind of left it off at that. In the meantime, we have torn that bike apart down to absolutely nothing and dropped off a bunch of pieces at Powder Coating in Costa Mesa, California. We're on our way there now to meet up with my buddy Jason. The parts have been powder coated and I'm gonna take you up there and show you the colors we chose and then talk a little bit about what our idea is for this build. And I think you're gonna be excited. If you're a BMX enthusiast, this is really gonna either hit home for you and you're gonna love it, or you may feel a bit conflicted about what we're doing, but either way, this build is gonna be rad and I think you're gonna like it. We put a lot of effort and thought into this and I think my buddy's got a great vision. I'm here to help guide him and help him in any way I can to make this build a reality. And I'm excited to see the finished product and I hope you are too. So I'm in the car. He just called me maybe 10, 15 minutes out from Powder Coat. So I figure I better jump in there, head up, uh, meet him there. And then we will go in and film uh, a little bit of the reveal of what it looks like now the bike will be completely disassembled obviously but you're going to see what it looks like getting it from powder coating and you'll see for the first time the colors that we chose and maybe you'll be able to guess where we're going with this build and what we're mimicking with the build that we're getting ready to do with it so let's head up there be there in a few minutes and reveal what we're up to we are getting ready to go inside and take a look at this bike and see what it looks like all powder coated I'll let you in on the secret. We are going to make it look as close as we can to a 1987 GT Pro Performer. So we want to take a 24 inch Zoos electric BMX bike and do our best to make it look like an 87 GT Pro Performer. And I think we've done a pretty good job. I mean, we're not changing the any of the geometry or the frame or anything like that, but we did change the color to a Maui blue lots of white accent parts, GT tires, custom upholstered seat, all sorts of stuff. So you're going to see that in a minute. I'm almost there. Today's video, we will build the bike and hopefully reveal the finished product if the build goes smoothly and fingers crossed that it does. So all right, we're pulling up to his house now. I'll park, I'll get out and we'll start this build and you'll get to see all the parts and pieces as we start to put it together.
want to give you a quick little update on where we're at with the bike. We're a few hours in. It's going a little slower than we originally anticipated, but it's not a BMX bike. These electric bikes are proving to be a little more complicated. Getting them back together, of course, every time you take a bike apart, it's much easier than building it back up. We're getting close. I'm going to give you a quick little overview of where we're at. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. Just working on getting the battery and all of that stuff plumbed back up and then we're gonna get it off the table and we'll get to lay it flat, add the decals, put all the levers and grips on the bars and then pretty much just tighten everything down and then we should have a finished product. Hopefully in the next 30 to 60 minutes or so, we'll have this bike on the ground and we'll start getting some decals on. I'll make sure I get some footage of that for you. Okay, there you go. That was the complete bike. And man, that thing turned out so rad. Please tell me what you think in the comments down below. This is about as close as you can get to an 87 GT Performer using a Zoos electric bike. If you want a Zoos electric bike, and I highly recommend it and stand by this brand, the link is down below to go buy yourself one. And then the modifications are endless. You can pretty much use anything BMX on these bikes and make it look like any BMX bike you want, or just leave it the way it comes because the way it comes is absolutely rad also but remember that links down below for zoos the link is down below for radbmxbuilds.com if you have not subscribed to this channel please do so by hitting that button and if you like this video give me a thumbs up but as always stay rad and we'll see you in the next video